Okay, here are the corrections for uh, quiz number two on parallel lines and triangle sum. Okay, so first of all, um, if you've got two angles like this in the same orientation, that's called um, corresponding angles. Okay, um, and uh, well, what do you know? These are also corresponding angles here. Bottom left-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner. So, okay, corresponding angles. And then here, um, I've got this angle here and this angle here. So that has a special name. It's called same side interior. Okay, and um, these add to 180, just by the way. Add to 180. And these are, um, these angles are equal. Okay, just for reference. Okay, the next one here, um, these are in the exterior and they're on alternate sides of this line. So they are alternate exterior angles and they are equal. Okay, um, so now Part two is just finding the measurement of the angles. So here we've got some corresponding angles. So the missing angle is 123 degrees. Okay, here these are same side interior. So they add to 180. So I've got um, 106 plus, um, let's just call that x equals 180. So the, the blue one plus the pink one add to 180. So I'm going to um, subtract 106 on both sides. Right? And so then I end up with um, x equals, uh, so 10 minus 6, that's 4, and 7 minus, so 74. Okay. Um, uh, the next one is also same side interior. So um, I've got, let's call that x. So 53 plus x equals 180. So uh, I subtract 53 on both sides. And then I get um, x equals 7, um, 27, uh, 127. Okay. And then the angles in a triangle add up to 180. So let's call this X. So I've got 81 plus 55 plus X adds up to 180. <coughs> so um, so now I'm going to add those to the 81 and the and the 55 together, and we get um, plus 55, and we get 136 plus x equals 1. And then, so now I can subtract um, one, uh, 136 on both sides. So, uh, and we get 44. Okay. Next page. Okay.
Okay, so now we've got um, some algebra here. So these are corresponding angles, so they're going to be equal to each other. So I've got 23x plus 5 equals 120. So the first thing I'm going to do is, notice this one has an x. These don't have an x. So I'm going to leave the one with the x by itself. I'm not going to mess with that one yet. So I'm going to subtract 5 on both sides. And then, um, so that goes away. And so now I've got 23x equals 115. And now I'm going to divide both sides of the equation by 23. And so uh, uh, we've got 115 uh, divided by uh, 23, and we get 5. Okay. Now the next one is same side interior. So these will add up to 180. So I've got x plus 72 plus x plus 128 equals 180. So I've got the blue one plus the red one adds up to 180. So this x and that x gives me 2x. And the 72 plus the 128 um, is going to give me, um, uh, what is it, 200? Okay. Um, okay, equals 180. Okay, so now I can subtract 200. Notice this has the x. These don't have an x. I'm going to leave the one with the x alone for now. And then, um, so now that, that cancels out, and then I've got 2x equals negative 20. And now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. And I get x equals negative 10. Okay, when you're watching this, hit pause if I'm going too fast. You can also hit it in slow motion and hear me talk like a very slow person. So, um, so here we go. 56 plus 76 plus x plus 51 equals 180. All three angles add up to 180. So now I've got um, 56 plus... 76 plus 51, and that's going to give me 183 equals 180. And um, so now I subtract 183 on both sides. And to make that go away, and now I have x equals negative 3. Okay. All right. Um, last one for this page. Same thing. These add up to 180. So I've got x plus 52 plus 85 plus 50 adds up to 180. So, um, so uh, 52. Um, plus um, 85 plus 50 is going to give me 187. So I've got x plus 187 equals 180. Um, just like before, uh, subtract 187 on both sides, and I get x equals negative 7. Okay, last page. OK. 
Okay, solve for x, then find the missing measurement. Okay, so these are vertical angles. Vertical angles. So they are equal. So I can say 8x minus 2 equals 7x plus 7. Okay, so I'm going to subtract 7x on both sides. Okay, that goes away. And then I've got x minus 2 equals 7. And now I'm going to add 2 on both sides because this is minus 2, so I've got to do the opposite thing, and that's going to make that go away. And then I've got x equals 9. Okay, now I'm not done yet, because I want to find the measurement of this angle. So my angle is equal to um, 8x minus 2, right? It doesn't matter. I could put it into the other one also. And we're going to have uh, x is 9. So we have 8 times 9 minus 2. So 8 times 9 is 72 minus 2. So the angle is going to be equal to 70 degrees. Okay. Let's do number 14. We're almost done with this video. Okay. So if I think of this as my transversal, and here we've got some parallel lines, you can see that we have um, alternate exterior angles. Okay, so if I've got alternate exterior angles, I'm going to make them equal to each other. So I've got 6x plus 2 equals 10 plus 5x. Okay, so um, here these guys have x's. These guys don't have x's, so the first thing I'm going to do, let's get the x's to one side, so I'm going to write minus 5x, minus 5x, and that's going to make the things with x's go onto one side of the equal sign. So I've got 6x minus 5x gives me x. Okay, so the reason I did, I wanted to get the x's onto one side of the equal sign, so I'm subtracting 5x on both sides. Okay, now I want to get the 2 over here, so I'm going to um, subtract 2 on both sides of the equal sign because this is a plus 2, so I need to do the opposite sign to get rid of it, and so 2, positive 2 and negative 2, that goes away, and so now I've got x equals, and 10 minus 2, that's going to give me 8. Okay, now I'm not done. I need to find the missing angle. So to find the missing angle, I can take one of these, um, 6x plus 2, okay, and I'm going to replace x with 8, so I'm going to have um, 6 times 8 plus 2, so 6 times 8 is 48, and then plus 2, that's going to give me an angle measurement of 60, of 50. Okay, and um, last one here. Okay, so a little bit trickier. Now, it, this, if this angle here is 81, then this angle in here is also going to be 81 because these are vertical angles. And now that I know um, that combination, I can say all three things in a triangle add up to 180. So I can say x plus 35 plus x plus 60, and then the other angle is plus 81, and all three of those things, whoa, you can't see what I'm doing, all three of those things are going to add up to 180. Okay, so um, 35 uh, plus uh, 60 um, plus 81, adds up to 176, and then I've got two x's here, right? So I've got 2x plus uh, 176 
equals 180. Okay, so because the 35 plus the 60 plus the 81 adds up to 176. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract 76 on both 176 uh, minus 176 on both sides of the equal sign. I'm not doing anything with the 2x, and then now I've got <coughs> that's going to go away. Now I've got 2x equals, and 180 minus 176 is 4, and then the next step is I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and then I get 4 divided by 2, that gives me 2, so then I end up with x equals 2, okay, because 4 divided by 2 gives me 2. Okay, so now I need to find the angle, so my angle is equal to, oh, angle A. Right, measurement of angle A. So angle A is this one right here. Okay, so this angle is uh, x plus 35. So um, x plus 35. Okay, that's angle A. So, uh, and then we know a x is 2, so I've got 2 plus 35. So angle A equals 37 degrees. Okay. Oh, I need another pen here. Uh, I'll just use a different color here. Okay. Okay. So um, if this angle here is 130, then this angle here has to be 50, because these two different angles have to add up to 180. And if this angle here is x plus 15, this one here is also going to be x plus 115, because this guy here has to be their vertical angles. Okay, this is I have to put two marks because this one has one mark because they're not equal. Okay, so now I've got this angle here, I've got this angle here, and I've got this angle here. Okay, so um, let's add them together. So I've got 50 plus x plus 115 plus 35 plus x, and all of those are going to add up to 180. Okay, so um, 50 plus 115 plus 35, so 50 plus 115 plus 35, that's going to give me 200. Okay. And the x plus the other x is going to give me 2x. So I have, um, I've got 2x plus um, this number here, and that equals 180. Okay, so now I'm going to subtract 200 on both sides. And then I'm going to get um, 2x equals negative 20, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, and uh, then I get x equals negative 10. Okay, so um, now I need to find the measurement of angle A, right? Find the measurement of angle A. So angle A is this red angle right there, All right? So, um, so let's solve for that. So I've got angle A equals 35 plus x. So I'm going to plug in the negative 10 in for x. I got 35 minus 10 because I'm replacing x with negative 10, and so then I end up with angle A equals 25. 
Okay, I hope this helps, and uh, good luck on your retake test.